Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And yeah, today's video is going to be very, very different from my usual style of content. As you can tell from the title, the thumbnail, and the fact that I'm using my voice. Today's video is going to be about me just designing and drawing a fire starter for my Pokemon region that I'm going to be hopefully making more videos about in the next few weeks, months. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications bell if you don't want to miss more videos like this. And comment down below if you want me to continue this series or if I should just go back to my usual, you know, tutorial videos of drawing Friday Night Funkin' characters or any other games. So I decided to base this entire evolution line off an armadillo. Its name is Shiruki, which is the, well, it's a play on the Japanese word for shell. And yeah, this guy's a pretty goofy little dumb Pokemon, okay? It spends most of its time just chilling out around volcanoes or any hot places and pretending to be rocks. Yeah, it's not very exciting, but the reason it does this is because it's a bit of a prankster, as you can see from this beautiful animation that I made here. Any exhausted trainer might see this rock and decide, oh hey, I want to sit down and rest for a while. Everything seems fine for a while. So they smell something burning and they, they don't know what it quite is until the pain it hits them. And this little guy, he just stays in his shell and smirks. I know I'm making him sound like some sort of villain, but unless you've been through the exact scenario, you don't know how painful that might be. Anyways, here I present to you the final design for Shiruki. <laughs> Alright, so for its second stage, I wanted to dive in a bit more into its fire aspect. So I'm still keeping it as an armadillo, and in case you didn't know, this is going to evolve into being fire and steel type. So I also wanted to add a bit more of the steel aspect. Obviously its shell is made out of steel, not just like, I don't know, whatever armadillo shells are made out of. I also gave it like a metal helmet and these like little, I guess, geyser things that come out of its back that spew out fire. And the cool thing about this is that for its main, I don't know, signature attack that it learns when it evolves, it turns into like a little ball and rolls at the opponent and the fire on its back causes it to turn into like this little fireball thing. So I think, I think that's pretty cool. I still wanted to keep it as like this little prankster. So now instead of just sitting around pretending to be a rock and waiting for trainers to sit on it, now it rolls down hills or volcanoes and into trainers while on fire. Alright, so here's the final design for the second evolution and I'm calling it Gyroseer. Now for the part of the video everyone has been waiting for, the final evolution. Still keeping it as a fire steel type and I wanted to base the design off well obviously for some reason I decided not to keep it as an armadillo at this point but its design is based off a Dimetrodon which was like this little well it wasn't a dinosaur but this creature from a long time ago and an Ankylosaurus. I still kept the fire coming out of its back I thought that was cool that was like the the Metrodon kind of part of it and the tail is the part that's inspired from an Ankylosaurus. Also the helmet that it had earlier now turns into this like cool mask and don't ask me why but now its eyes are red. I don't know how but I think it looks cool so I know I just said it's not an armadillo anymore but it's still able to roll up into a ball and use its signature attack where you know the fire surrounds it and turns into a fireball. After evolving, like most people, well most, this guy is no longer a prankster. He's matured and now it likes to protect the little shirukis and gyroseers around it, acting like some sort of guardian. So yeah, he has a whole character arc. Okay, without any more delays, I'm gonna show you the final third stage for the fire starter that I'm calling Ignodon. Yeah. 
Alright, that was the end of the video and the end of my attempt of drawing a fire starter. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.